Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than five minutes. We're continuing our mini series on peptides and sexual wellness. Last week, we talked about everything you need to know about PT-141 or bromelanotide. Today, we'll focus on Kispeptin-10, what it is, how it works for sexual wellness, and some of its other benefits. So what is Kispeptin-10? Kispeptin-10 is a neuropeptide that's involved in reproduction, sexual behavior, and sexual attraction. It helps increase activity in the brain associated with sexual attraction and arousal. Kispeptin-10 also stimulates the hypothalamus to release gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GNRH, which in turn signals the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone, or LH, and follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH. These hormones play a role in the production of both testosterone and estradiol. This more physiological stimulation of LH and FSH may reduce the risk of overstimulation of the ovaries, which is often associated with fertility injections. Because of this, kispeptin is currently being studied as an alternative to current fertility treatments. Because kispeptin-10 increases both LH and FSH, it may benefit men undergoing testosterone replacement therapy programs who have experienced a drop in their LH or FSH levels due to excessive amounts of exogenous testosterone. So how is kispeptin-10 dosed and given for sexual health? Kispeptin-10 is given as an injection under the skin. You can give the injection with or without food into your abdomen, your upper arm, or thigh. You should avoid injecting into the same spot every time, but you can inject into the same body area as long as you rotate your injection site. The dose of Kispeptin-10 is typically 100 micrograms in the evening. And what are the potential side effects of Kispeptin-10? As with any injection, you may experience injection site reactions like pain, redness, itching, or bruising, but no side effects have been reported in clinical studies to date. Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. You can find out more information at peptides.com. We love having you as part of our community, and if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.